Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss on uh, AWS IAM service. IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. IAM is a web service that uh, we can use to manage user and user permissions under an AWS account. This service is not region specific. What it means, uh, if you create this services in uh, Sydney region, this will be automatically to all regions across AWS. So next thing, what are the components or you can say building blocks for IAM service? So they are user, group and role. User is a IAM user which can use AWS services. And group, that's an IAM group, which is a mechanism to manage a collection of uh, IAM users. Permissions or policies can be attached to a group instead of individual users, so it's easy to manage. Next thing is role. So basically, IAM role is similar to a user. There is no difference. Only difference, it is not uniquely associated with a person. You can uh, attach that role to any user when you need it. Let's say to a normal user, you can uh, give him administrative access. That's similar to sudo kind of thing, uh, which generally we use in Linux or uh, any Unix platform. So let me show you about costing model for IAM. If you can see on my screen, uh, this is from Amazon website. Amazon says, identity and access management is a feature of your AWS account offered at no additional charge friends uh, that's no additional charge so this service is free as of now you will be only charged for other aws products by your iam users let's say my iam user is going to create or use ec2 s3 or any other amazon service we will be charged only for those services not for iam so this is free of course friends so let me log into Amazon console. So friend, this is Amazon console. This is how uh, the new console looks like. You can switch to old way, but I don't want to switch to old way. I'm happy with this one. So to use IAM, this is part of security and identity. And this is a service, IAM. I'm clicking here. Here, okay, this is a welcome page, friend. Uh, if you see, there are... Uh, six not six basically five uh, different security status first one is delete your root access key it is green it mean uh, i have deleted my root access key that is not true because for this account this is my new account i never generated root access keys that's the reason it is showing it green so that's the best practice to delete your root access key the reason we are creating users and groups that we can uh, allocate rights to individual user or groups instead of using root account. That's the same way if you are using your Windows or uh, Linux server, you don't want to log in with uh, your admin user or root user every time. You, you will log in with uh, your particular user. If required, you can switch to root account. That's a similar way, friends, here. So we will allocate admin rights to one particular set of users or a particular group. And uh, we will allocate normal rights to a one particular set of group or user. So friends, next thing, activate MFA on your root account. What MFA mean? MFA mean multi-factor authentication. So let me expand it. If you see, uh, it is saying now manage MFA, I'm clicking here. There are two type of MA, MFA devices supported. One is virtual, one is hardware. I'm sure we all heard about soft token and hard token. So this virtual MFA is basically soft token. A hardware MFA is hard token. Uh, let's say you got some RSA token or uh, some other from different company. I don't have hardware token. So I can't uh, replicate uh, scenario here. Instead, I'm going to use virtual MFA device. Clicking on next step. And here 
it is saying to activate a virtual MFA device, you must install an AWS multi-factor authentication compatible application. So what it means, friends, on my mobile mobile phone, uh, I have to install uh, Amazon supported uh, application. I'm clicking here next, but here it is showing the list of uh, compatible applications. I'm clicking here. So these are the devices, virtual MFA appliances, applications. So if you see for Android, there are two type of application supported. One is Google Authenticator. Second is OT to factor authentication. I have never heard about this one. For iPhone, Google Authenticator. For Windows Phone, Authenticator. And for BlackBerry, Google Authenticator. If you see Google Authenticator is the common on uh, most of the devices. So I'm going with Google Authenticator. Okay, friends, so I have to download this software. I'm on iPhone, so I will click here and uh, I can visit uh, Android or sorry, that App Store and I can download it. I'm skipping this section because I don't want to use it. It's very easy to set up. Once you download the authenticator, simply click next and it will give you two authentication keys and uh, you can uh, do it. Uh, I'm clicking on next step here. So this is the QR code. You can scan it once you install uh, Google Authenticator on your device. Then you have to put uh, first code, which will be displayed on your screen. Once that code get expires after a couple of seconds, it will generate new code. You have to put it here. Then your authentication is done. If you want, I can uh, show you how to generate it. Okay, friends, so I have just scanned that QR code and uh, I've installed Google Authenticator on my device. So like this is the code. This is the first code. Once you enter the first code here on uh, Amazon screen, after a couple of seconds, uh, it will uh, give you second authentication code. Just enter that and click on activate virtual MFA. I'm just pausing my screen now. I'm waiting for second code and uh, I don't want to show you my uh, both authentication codes. I have just added my second authentication code and if you can see on my screen, my MFA device was successfully associated. So this step is done. Now next step, create individual IEM users. So as I said before, uh, your user may be like you go in your company, you got uh, different groups. Let's say one group system administrators who create instances, who manage instances. So I'm creating one user, let's say with my name, Yogesh. So here to create user, you have to click here. And uh, then let's say I'm creating only single user, Yogesh. M. This is option generate and access key for each user. And uh, uh, because I will be working command line I need access key for every user. I don't prefer to use graphical interface. I found a CLI easy, so I'm generating access key. Clicking create. So this user is created and this is the security credentials for that user. I'm just downloading this file. Okay, this file is downloaded. I'm closing it. Okay, friends, user is created. And if you see there is one active uh, access key for this user, if you want to deactivate it, uh, that you can do easily. I, I can show you those steps too. And next thing, if I select user and from user, you can manage access key. What it means if you want to regenerate the access key or you want to deactivate old key, you can uh, do it here. If you want to set up a password, manage password, what it means if user want to log into uh, this AWS console, uh, you can set a password. Let me set up a password. So I'm assigning a custom password, let's say, I'm just typing my password. And this is the option, uh, when user logs in first time, it will prompt that user to change the password. I'm clicking apply. So friend, this is the way user got created. And next thing is group. To create a group, click on create new group. I'm making it group name system 
admin clicking next here friends these are the policies what policy mean what kind of rights that a user or a particular group will get so here these are the administrator access what it mean uh, this particular policy will give all the rights to user they can create instance they can delete instance they can shut down ec2 instance they can power on instance they can create s3 bucket they can create any service they can delete the service they can manage the users everything so i'm uh, giving all the rights to this particular group i'm clicking here and uh, now next step so here rights will be given to system admin group all the rights and clicking here create group okay if you see this particular group is created and there are no users associated uh, with this particular group I'm clicking here i'm selecting the group basically and then add user to group so i'm adding my user which is yogesh m to that uh, system adm group clicking add users so if you see this particular group got one user now and uh, let me show you group again so system adm inline policy selected zero why it is zero so let me show you edit group name okay i'm selecting group again so it got a system admin uh, that's a group name there is no policy permissions it already got this policy so that's right this is the way to check which policy is attached next thing friends is role as i said uh, to create a new role create role i'm saying this is role system admin if i have to give this role to any user clicking next here are the services uh, different type of amazon roles i'm selecting ec2 that's up to you for which particular service you want to use that role i'm selecting it for ec2 only that's up to you and what type of access i want to give to a user if that user assume that role i want to give him a uh, all access that's a example only but uh, there are multiple amazon created policy or you can say amazon tailored policies and you can create your own policies also friends so these are different amazon policies i have selected the first default policy which is administrator access and clicking next here this is the information I'm clicking create role so friends uh, this is the way you can create user you can create group you can add a user to the group or uh, how you can create a role so and let me begin to main session for this particular service dashboard so if you see we have uh, deleted uh, root access key which were never generated it means deleted they were not existing we have activated mfa device for root account we have created iem user we have we have used group to assign permissions then last thing apply an iem password policy so what password policy mean password policy like uh, what are the minimum required uppercase letters or uh, lowercase letters or should password contain any number or alphanumeric or non alphanumeric character or you want to enable password expiration etc so these are the options so here for password i am setting uh, i need one uppercase one lowercase and enable password expiration i want to want the password to expire after every 60 days that's up to you friends in your company you got a different soe or a different compliance thing so according to your compliance or soe things you can uh, select these things I have selected this policy for my test setup. I'm clicking apply password policy. It is getting applied. It will take some time, friends. So friends, uh, password policy is applied. If you see, uh, if you want to delete that policy, just click here. It will delete the policy. And these are the different options you can uh, use as per your company's compliance thing. And I'm clicking again on dashboard. If you see all the security status are now green, so it means our IEM setup is complete. So friends, uh, in this example, I have created only system admin group. 
so you can create different group let's say one group for your developer where you want to give a instance shutdown or a start authorities or rights to your developer team or your application team and uh, if you want to give a backup rights uh, backup mean uh, if you go to backup team different backup team in your setup you can give them access to your glacier or your s3 bucket so that's up to you friends uh, in that way you can uh, create different groups or users and uh, allocate different type of policies to those particular groups and uh, this was for uh, amazon graphical interface in next video i will be covering command line session for creating user for creating group creating role and uh, managing access keys i will be covering everything in a command line session so thanks for watching this video stay tuned for next videos if you like this video click the like button if you want uh, to be updated on the latest video which i'm posting just subscribe to my channel thanks a lot friends bye, -bye.